Hi, hello guys. This is the opening lecture in the course of city management and policy. I approach this course uh, a little bit informally, maybe because essentially it is um, I or I am working in this course with a group of students whom I know well and who know me well. Uh, we have been working together for two years already. So. Uh, in this opening lecture, I won't like to trace the big lines of that online distance teaching and studying that we will be doing during the winter semester of 2020-2021. So, this lecture is supposed to like open up the topic, to open up uh, the course, to give you like the main rules. Uh, of course, for those who don't know me, by any accident, my name is Krzysztof Waśniewski. I am assistant professor with the Faculty of Management at the Andrzej Frycz Modrzewski University in Kraków. So, we go about this course, City Management and Policy. And I go into the PowerPoint presentation to give you like the main lines. So let me just travel to a different corner of the screen. Uh, oh, I will magnify the slide a little bit. Okay, so this is a project-based class. Uh, you know me, uh, you, you know that I like those project-based assessments. And we have a main thread of research. Uh, as for those research projects you will be performing in this class, this semester, it is to put together, to describe business concepts, maybe even business plans for the so-called RAID or Real Estate Investment Trust for Smart Cities. Now an explanation. Uh, I invite you to watch my video uh, which is named here in the slide and you can find the link in the PowerPoint presentation which goes with this video. Uh, it is, uh, so the other video to which I am sending is the, it's, it's city management number two, case study of RAID, Urban Edge and Atrium. So in that other video you will get the hang of what a real estate investment trust is and in this course, this semester, uh, in the course of city management and policy, uh, your purpose will be to put together concepts of real estate investment trusts, focus on developing urban real estate with abnormally intensive use of digital technologies. The, those urban structures or urban real estate with abnormally intensive use of digital technologies, it is what makes what we call a smart, a smart city. So that an allegedly new generation of cities. So use that other video to, to get the hang of what a RAID is, how it works. And uh, I strongly encourage you to study the documents to which that other video sends. Uh, let's go a little bit further. Uh, a general remark, which is very specific to this semester and uh, to this group. We can combine those classes of city management and policy with your undergraduate seminar. Uh, because as far as I know, practically all of the students whom I am supposed to tutor as for the writing of their bachelor undergraduate thesis this year, all those students are in this group, in this specific class, city management and policy. And this is why I propose to combine those classes and to, to use that uh, Microsoft Teams platform set for this group uh, for the seminar too, so for the undergraduate seminar as well. Uh, I think it is a smart idea because uh, many of you already work. And I know that, I'll, uh, that already two of my students in this group work full time. So it could be smart uh, to combine this class and the seminar.
Now, a little bit of technicalities as for the way we work together. So the basic form of online contact is a group on Microsoft Teams, a group to which I think you have already received an invitation to because I added you to, to this group. And meetings are scheduled as, is, as in your timetables. Each meeting on Teams starts on the scheduled starting hour of the class sharp. So it is, if it is, for example, 10.30 a.m., we start 10.30 a.m. The baseline duration of each class is around 45-ish minutes, huh? depending on the number of questions that you have, depending on the number of things I want to check with you and on the current topics we have to discuss. Uh, you can notice that in your timetables, those classes on Teams are longer, much longer than 45 minutes. This is because we need a buffer. We need to avoid overlapping with other classes in case we have a lot of things to discuss, in case we have to improvise about the exact time, about the exact timing of each such, my, uh, of each such virtual class on MS Teams. Of course, as you know, you can contact me via email. Here is my email address. You probably, at least in this group, you probably all know that address already. It is kwasniewski at afm.edu.pl. Uh, just a remark, if for some reason classes on Teams as scheduled for now have to be cancelled, we can arrange other classes on Teams or on Zoom. Now, the timing of your projects. This is important now we focus. So, the month of October, generally I devote it to like introducing the main lines of research and work in that course. By the end of October and beginning of November, I would like you to set your topics and to set up your teams. If you want to prepare those research projects in teams, uh, you are allowed to. You can make teams of up to five people and you can uh, and by the end of October and beginning of November, as you will be setting your topics and narrowing them down, I would like you to set up your teams as well. From now the month of November is essentially devoted to like uh, fine tuning your topics to um, discussing with me, uh, let's say the main points or the main lines of those projects of yours. And uh, starting from December the 1st, I want us all to work uh, on the base of a two week pace of progress. So every two weeks, I want to see a bit of proof of progress made from your part, something like a draft. So given the calendar of our semester, that makes a total of four drafts with documented progress, which you deliver to me. And the fifth piece of work is your final project in the final version. Uh, you can use uh, many different forms for your drafts. You can use uh, uh, regular text documents, for example, in Word. You can use uh, presentations, you can use videos. Uh, as for the final version of your work, I want it to be a document, a regular document. If you feel like accompanying this document uh, with uh, some video content, you can just place that video on some server and in the document you just provide the link to that video. Okay, and the last slide finally in that opening lecture. Here is a case that I am already giving you to think about and to study in the lines of what we are talking about. So in the lines of a real estate investment trust focused on the technologies of smart cities. Uh, a company called the Cine World, which is a chain of cinema theaters, uh, has announced officially today, 
please let me magnify that slide a little bit okay just to place that text well in the center so they announced uh, that in response to an increasingly challenging theatrical landscape and sustained key market closures due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Cineworld confirms that it will be temporarily suspending operations at all of its 536 regal theatres in the United States and its 127 Cineworld and Picture House theatres in the United Kingdom from Thursday, uh, from Thursday, October 8th, 2020. In the slide, which you will find in the PowerPoint presentation coming with the video, you will find links both to the Investors Relations site of Cineworld and, uh, to, and the link to this specific announcement. And that creates an interesting topic for research. Uh, theaters, cinema theaters, are physical places, they are buildings, they are structures. They are structures with a lot of electronics inside, they are structures with a lot of electric power connected to. And uh, as they close, maybe they will reopen after some time, maybe some of them will not reopen. So it will create something like a real estate vacuum in the corresponding cities. There will be cinema theaters, which will sort of wait for being converted into something else. Here comes an idea. Maybe it would be an interesting business concept to set up and start an investment fund, an investment trust that would take over those uh, permanently closed cinema theatres and do something with them, convert them into something in the spirit of smart cities. Here is just an example of topic you can take on. We will work through many others in subsequent lectures. So, that would be all in that opening lecture. Uh, and, well, guys, have a nice week. Uh, as I remember, we meet online on Thursday, so on October 8th. And uh, till then, have fun with the science and have fun with life. Bye.